For years, families in Iraq and the government have been rebuilding people's lives and their country with the support of the UN family. Meet Sa'ad, Jamila, their daughter Lena and Jamila's sister Noor, who fled their home in Ninawa during the conflict with ISIL. From floods to conflict, OCHA has coordinated the humanitarian response by the United Nations and its partners to support people in displacement to return home safely. With the help from UNHCR, Sa'ad and his family have been issued with the correct identification cards and paperwork so they can access services like health and education. IOM is assisting the family and many others with transportation to their area of origin as well as psychosocial support and cash transfers. Since their family home was destroyed, they are now living in their new house thanks to UN Habitat's housing reconstruction and rehabilitation projects in addition to UNDP, who also provides the family with rehabilitated services such as hospitals, schools, water and electricity. Sa'ad also participates in a cash-for-work project to help him earn an income. Sa'ad's skills in agriculture have been put to good use with the support from FAO to grow crops and rear livestock. Their household is among thousands receiving such support. Jamila and Noor collect their family's monthly food or cash assistance from WFP and its partners. WFP received the Nobel Prize for 2020 for combating hunger. To ensure that the family access medical services, including COVID-19 tests, WHO renovated a primary healthcare centre nearest to them, which provides the family medicine and other medical supplies. UNICEF is safeguarding the future of Iraq by providing education for young people like Lena. Her parents are glad that she and her classmates have access to clean water and sanitation at their school thanks to UNICEF's support. Near Lena's school, UNESCO continues to reconstruct, rehabilitate and preserve Iraq's rich architecture and historical monuments to make Iraqis proud of their culture. Together, we are creating a more equal society with rights and opportunities for all. As a survivor of ISIL, Jamila's sister Noor lost her husband during the conflict. She is attending one of the 145 safe places run by UNFPA to provide psychosocial and reproductive health support. UNITAT supports survivors like Noor by assisting in efforts to hold ISIL perpetrators accountable for crimes they committed, amounting to war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. Noor uses her spare time to help promote human rights issues. She also joins other women in social cohesion, peace building and national dialogue workshops organized by UNAMI. UN Women promotes women's empowerment where Noor and Jamila can develop their skills with projects that continue to enhance the women, peace and security agenda in Iraq. When there is a need, Sa'ad's family can call the toll-free line of the Iraq Information Center facilitated by UNOPS on behalf of all the UN partners. They can ask for help with the support available to them. Our UN family and our partners will continue to work hard to help families such as Sa'ad's to create a brighter future for all Iraqis.